Hey everybody and welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. I'm your host, J.A. Curtis. Now today's video is all about taking that awesome application that you've created in Laravel and now pushing it up to the internet. So we're gonna talk about deploying a Laravel application. And the point of this video is basically like, I was looking around to try to find good guides on how to deploy a Laravel application and like literally they don't exist. They just don't exist. It's terrible. I don't know why no one else has done it before. Laravel's got a huge community, but for some reason there's just nothing out there that really explains how to deploy a Laravel application very well. Part of the reason for that is probably because of Laravel has a service that supports its um, you know its developer called Forge. And so forge.laravel.com, this is kind of a really easy way to make a Laravel server. You pay $10 a month for the service or 20 for a team, but you pay 10 bucks a month for the service. And then you have basically this interface where you can just kind of fill in a little form, click create server, and it will go out to like a VPS service and um, create a server for you and run a script to deploy the Laravel application. So I think that's part of why is because this supports Taylor Otwell. This is his um, you know project. And so a lot of people want to support him. And so... I think a lot of people just kind of fall back and use Forge. That's what it seems like a lot of the pro Laravel people are using are just using Forge to deploy their application. However, I do know as someone who makes a lot of tutorials for you know Laravel newcomers, not everyone wants to pay for a server deployment application, something like, and I think this is a great idea, um, but I'm just saying that not everyone wants to pay for this. So the annoying thing is, unfortunately, that you're paying 10 bucks a month for to deploy your server, but you're not that doesn't actually pay for the server. So you still have to pay for the server, right? So you're still gonna have some digital ocean droplet or Linode um, server or Amazon EC2 instance or something like that. You're still gonna have some server, you still gotta pay for the server, and you're just paying 10 bucks a month right on top of it to deploy your application. And then on top of that, there's another service called Envoyer and um, or Envoy. Let's see. Um, anyway, there's the other service um, that allows you to basically push um, Envoyer. Yeah, I was just Envoyer.io. Um, it's another $10 a month that allows you to basically push your application with zero downtime. Okay, so you're paying $10 for Forge, $10 for Envoyer, and then $20, $30 for your server every month. So that adds up, and I can I think that we need a better guide on the internet on how to deploy to Laravel without necessarily having to rely on these services. I'm not saying you shouldn't support these services. I'm just saying that you, I think it's a good idea to know how to do it yourself, and you you know I don't think to do one application, you should have to you know, sign up for some sort of service like that. It should be available for you. And that's what we're gonna work on today is we're gonna talk about basically how you can start. You've got, let's say you finished your application and now you wanna get it on the internet. Well, how do we get from point A to point B? And that's what I'm gonna follow through and walk you through today. We're gonna start, and this is gonna be a four part video, okay? So we're gonna start in part one, which is this video right now. When I'm done talking about what we're gonna do, we're gonna start doing it. And we're going to talk about um, hosting options. Where can we host? Our Laravel, our Laravel application, what kind of servers work well for it, just the different options that are out there. I've got some free credit for you guys so you guys can start today for free. And um, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So that's what this first video is gonna be about. It's all about the hosting options, just so you guys know the different options that are out there. Um, we're gonna choose one for our tutorial today, and then we're going to set up a server, and we're gonna SSH into that server. Um, and that's basically where we're gonna end this video today. After that, what we're gonna do in part two is we're gonna set up a LEMP stack. And that's what you see here, it's a LEMP stack. It stands for Linux, Linux Nginx, uh, MySQL, and PHP. And we're gonna set that those applications up on the, our brand new server that we create in this video. Okay, so then we'll have all of the technologies needed, the technology stack for our server to get it to um, you know deliver our Laravel application. However, that's gonna be basically part two. Well, however, at the end of part two, we're just gonna have the technologies on our server. We're not actually gonna have like, say, the Laravel files yet, because those are on our local computer, right? So how do we get our, in part three, we're gonna talk about how to move those files from part from our local computer up to our fancy server in the cloud, and of course, we're gonna use Git to do that, okay? So um, I'm assuming you're do using version control already in, on your local computer. So we're gonna talk about how you can use Git to simply push your files up to your server. Instantly, just like that, super easy. We're gonna install Git in part three. We'll install Git on our um, cloud server, and we're gonna talk about how we can set up Git hooks so that when we push to Git, it automatically basically deploys the application, gets you that zero downtime effect. Um, so that's that. 
Second of all, um, or that's gonna basically, at the end of part three, we'll have basically moved all of our files up to the, uh, the server, all the Laravel files. And then finally, part four, the last video of the series, we'll talk about what you do after you get those files up there. You need to use Composer, we need to run some migrations, some artisan commands, set up some configuration files, some um, .env files, and so forth. So that's basically what we're gonna focus on in this video. I've actually written all of this up into a detailed guide as well. So if you wanna go to this ultimate guide, um, how to deploy a Laravel 5.3 app, you can do that, or any Laravel 5 app. This will work for any Laravel 5 app at least. Um, you can go and um, check this out. The link is at the bot at the very top of the description. So you just go down there and click the link. And I'm not gonna put any code snippets in the descriptions like I usually do because there's so many. And so I recommend you just go and have this video, this uh, written guide open, and it's gonna follow the this uh, follows exactly the video to a T. Like exactly, you could basically read along and I, it's gonna follow it exactly. So you just kind of move on down the page and we're gonna talk about all of this stuff and um, all the code snippets are gonna be in here. Okay, so you're gonna be able to in, um, get all the co code snippets that you need will all be inside of here. So this is gonna be where you wanna do it. And you can just kind of follow through um, with the guide, all right? So even though we have four different videos, it's all contained on one written guide. You're just gonna start at the top and go down. And the videos are designed to go back to back, so you can just watch them back to back to back. If you're in the playlist, um, right now, the YouTube playlist, it's just gonna move one to the next, okay? Um, and otherwise, you may have to click down, and the links for the next one will be down in the description if you're not in the, in the playlist. Okay, so with all that out of the way, I think we've talked about what we're gonna do. Let's start doing it.